Good morning. It is 5.45 and time for our Que Pasa Report of the Week when we tell you about all the cool things happening in the city. That's right. Kimber Foster with Destination El Paso joins us this morning with everything we need to know to plan our weekend. Hi, Kimber. Good morning, Christina and Robert. This weekend, you can enjoy a musical version of a classic horror film, some WWE action, and even a dancing martini. It's all about chocolate. Kiss FM's A Chocolate Affair takes place this evening from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Fountains at Farah. The popular event, now in its fourth year, will feature some of El Paso's best chocolate vendors, such as Chocolate Delight, Fudge and More, Orange Peel Pastries, and the Pastry Chef Cafe, just to name a few. Advanced tickets are $15 and are available on holdmyticket.com. They're also available at the door for $20. Fan of horror movies and musicals, you'll definitely want to check out the amazing UTEP Dinner Theater's presentation of Carrie the Musical. The stage version of the popular cult classic will be performed tomorrow through February 15th. Dinner performances are held at 7 p.m. and matinees on Sunday afternoons. For a full schedule and ticket prices, visit the UTEP Dinner Theater's website, ticketmaster.com, or head on over to the UTEP Ticket Center. Another unique stage performance to check out this Friday night is Cocktail Hour The Show, presented by El Paso City Ballet. The event takes place at the Plaza Theater at 8 p.m. and features a collection of beautifully choreographed cocktail-themed vignettes that you won't want to miss. Tickets start at $20 and are available at the Plaza Theater box office or online at Ticketmaster.com. If you prefer your weekend theatricals to take place in the ring, the Pan Am Center in Las Cruces is the place to be. WWE Live Road to WrestleMania features John Cena, Daniel Bryan, Seth Rollins, and many more of your favorite WWE superstars and divas. The action kicks off at 7.30 p.m. on Friday. Tickets range from $15 to $95 and can be purchased on Ticketmaster.com. If you're a fan of the band Paramore, tickets go on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. The popular Grammy Award-nominated band will perform at the Abraham Child on May 20th. As a reminder, this is just a sampling of the events happening this weekend. And if the ones I highlighted aren't exactly your cup of tea, you can find more events on Destination El Paso's websites. Visit ElPaso.com and ElPasoLive.com. Be sure to tune in next week to find out what's happening in the Sun City. Back to you guys. All right, and we have a wish list of things we want to do. It's yeah. Carrie for you. I want to go see Carrie, but you said you don't like scary stuff. I don't so. like scary stuff. But yeah, you but know it's what? a musical version, I so know. it can't be that scary. <laughs> it's, uh, there's a lot of dancing, and it's scary. Right, which one's the one for you? <laughs> uh, mine would have to be Paramore, the concert. And I want to take my daughter, but I know it's a little weird when your mom likes the same band that you do. So oh, it's okay. Maybe I'll hang out yeah. in the back. She can right. be closer with her friends. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll be back with some more news, weather, and traffic after the break. Stay with us. El Paso Honda's 20